Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Richard Nichols. I'm afraid I'll be uncontactable on this phone number until Monday the 26th of February. If you'd like to reach me in the meantime, please send me an email or phone the office. Thank you. This is a week without a mobile phone. I've had an iPhone now for over 10 years. It's amazing and I love it. I can buy things with it, listen to my entire record collection, take photos, shoot videos, send emails, browse the internet, effectively run my business from it. But it comes at a cost, and that cost is, it's a major distraction. So this week I'm having a digital detox. I won't touch my phone for the next seven days. I'm consciously going to try and live more mindfully. That is to say, without sounding too new age about it, that I'm gonna pay more attention to what's going on around me and live in the moment. It's lunchtime and I've just come out for a little walk. This is a classic example of a time when I would have brought my phone with me. There's something quite nice about just switching off, putting it away, not having any distractions. It's nice. Okay, so the weather's turned quite quickly. There I was, shooting some nice footage in the park, in the sunshine. Now we've got quite heavy snow. I'm off. Edinburgh has been hit hard by an incoming storm from Russia known as the Beast from the East. We've had over six inches of snow in a little over 24 hours. Of course, if I'd had my mobile phone with me, I would have been alerted to the weather forecast. This was my very first mobile phone, the Nokia 5110, and I got it in the year 2000 when I started my postgraduate film course at Bristol University. It was great, you could make and receive phone calls and text messages and that's about it, but it was perfect and that was all I needed. 18 years ago I'd only really just started using email, but the thought of needing this on my phone back then would have seemed ridiculous. The one additional thing that this phone had, which should have been a warning to me for what was to come in the future, is that it had a game on it called Snake. To the uninitiated, Snake was a very simple game where you use the arrow keys on the phone to direct the snake around the screen to eat these dots that appeared. The more the dots the snake eats, the longer it grows and the higher your score. I became amazing at Snake. It was so addictive and it was always available for me to play. Five minutes to kill waiting for a train, game of Snake. Sat on the toilet, game of Snake. I don't know anyone who had a higher score in Snake than I did. Fast forward 18 years and with the almost unlimited range of things you can now use your smartphone for, it's not hard to see how this has become a major distraction. Self-discipline is needed around a smartphone, but it's hard and access to social media only makes this worse. Today I'm down in the Scottish borders doing some filming. It's a nice sunny day and there's still quite a lot of snow around. One of the main things that I use my mobile phone for is social media. Three main platforms I use are Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Twitter I don't use so much. Instagram I use daily and I love the creativity of the platform. I like posting photographs. And Facebook I only joined 18 months ago. There's a phenomenon called fear of missing out or FOMO. And apparently this is a very real addiction and one of the main reasons that people check their social media so often on their mobile phones. This week I haven't been looking at Twitter, Instagram or Facebook on my phone for a number of days now. And I have to say I feel far more connected to my environment far more connected to what I'm doing and far more connected to the people that I'm with. One thing I use my mobile phone for probably more than anything is taking photos. Over the years I've been able to capture some amazing moments that otherwise I would have lost were it not for the fact that I had a mobile phone in my pocket. Forgetting all the social media nonsense that you can do on your phone, that's the one thing I've really missed this week. By not using my mobile phone this week, I've actually felt a lot happier. I feel like I've wasted a lot less time, I've enjoyed being around people more, and I've been more observant and interested in the places I've been to. So my experience this week has made me want to make some changes. From now on, I won't start the day by reaching for my phone. I won't use my phone after nine o'clock in the evening. When I'm looking after my boys by myself, I'm gonna switch my phone off. I won't be experiencing FOMO, fear of missing out. It will be FOMO, f off, mobiles off. Everyone will be a lot happier. As a parent, I need to set an example to my own children, and ultimately, I'm just very grateful that I spent my own childhood doing things like this, and not this.
Thank you for watching my latest weekly challenge. You can follow my progress on these channels, although don't spend too much time doing that on your phone.